Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. June 6th, George Matheson. When George Matheson was 20, he became totally blind, but within five years, he had earned a bachelor's degree in divinity. His sisters learned Latin, Greek, and Hebrew so they could help him study, and their investment paid off. George went on to become a pastor and a prolific writer. On this date, in 1881, Matheson wrote the lyrics of the famous hymn, O Love That Will Not Let Me Go, a song that Christians still sing today, more than 130 years later. In God's hands, even despair can be an effective tool. Alone in his study, George Matheson recalled the happy clamor of the day's wedding and the smell of fresh flowers. He sat in silence and thought about his day. His closest sister had just been married and launched a new chapter with the love of her life. He was truly happy for her, but this was the sister who had selflessly helped Matheson since he was a child and as his vision declined to blindness. As his influence as a pastor grew, she'd helped him by overseeing the day-to-day -day needs of his ministry. Her sudden absence would hit him hard. It would impact every area of his daily life. In his parsonage that night, Matheson prayed, and the first words of that painful prayer became the lyrics of the Christian hymn, O oh, Love That Will Not Let Me Go. Rising from the well-worn sofa, Matheson felt his way towards his desk, where his hands quickly found his slate and stylus. This writing tool for the blind had captured his inspired sermons for years now. Scanning the surface of the desk again for a sheet of paper, he found one and sat to write. He carved into the braille paper the words that grew out of his prayer. O oh love that will not let me go, I rest my weary soul in thee. He stilled his hands and leaned back into his chair and let this truth sink in. Of course, the truth was plain. Matheson knew he was not alone. God had always been with him, and God was with him now. All at once, another poetic line effortlessly entered his mind, followed by another, then another. Matheson leaned forward, his hands raised and carved into the page, catching up with his thoughts. George describes the event, something happened to me, which was known only to myself and which caused me the most severe mental suffering. The hymn was the fruit of that suffering. It was the quickest bit of work I ever did in my life. I had the impression of having it dictated to me by some inward voice rather than of working it out myself. I'm quite sure that the whole work was completed in five minutes and equally sure that it never received at my hands any retouching or correction. I have no natural gift of rhythm all of the other verses I have ever written are manufactured articles. This came like a day spring from on high. This writing became a hymn that would comfort God's people for generations. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 43, 5. Is life overwhelming you today? In God's hands, even despair can be an effective tool. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.